Hi, I'm Jackie Gardner and this is Bailey and I'm one of the Kennel Club senior measurers. I'm also a championship judge, a judge's trainer and one of the area reps for the Midland Liaison Council. Myself and Bailey are here today to demonstrate to potential new measurers and to anybody who wants to get their dog measured the process of measuring and what you need to expect. As you're probably all aware, the Kennel Club require all small and medium dogs to be measured. You don't have to get your large dog measured anymore, but if you do feel that your large dog may fall within the medium category, then of course you can bring it along and get it officially measured. Normally, there would be two measurers at any measuring session, but for the purpose of this video, there will just be myself today. We use two measuring hoops to determine the height of the dog. The small, which is up to 35 centimetres, and the medium, which is up to 43 centimetres. When you do the process of measuring, dogs must be measured on a level, non-slip surface. So a grooming table or an agility table would be perfect for this. Obviously, if the dog is larger, then perhaps it does need to go on the floor, but it must be a level, even surface that you are measuring the dog on. Right, I'd like to introduce Bailey back in again, and this is Ashley, his owner, and this is Bailey's record book, and I need to just check she's completed it correctly. Okay, so this is Bailey's first measure. If this was Bailey's second measure, I would also need to double check that he was in the correct time scale. They've got to get them measured between 12 and 24 months. If it had gone over the 24 months, obviously when you send your return to the Kennel Club, you just highlight it and then that's something for the Kennel Club to deal with later. Okay, as you can see, Bailey's nice and relaxed on the table. That's because he's used to the table. Not every dog that presents to you will be so relaxed as Bailey, so you may need to give them a little bit of time to get settled. Okay, the first thing we're going to do now, we're going to scan Bailey for his chip. Okay, and that beep indicated I've got his chip number. I'll just check that to his record book. And yes, that confirms this is the correct dog. So to measure the dog, we need all the, the dogs to have their four legs underneath them, really, and stand in a natural position. As you can see, Bailey's got one leg splayed backwards, one frontwards. He's heads forward, his front legs are wrong. So he wouldn't measure correctly here. So I'm going to ask Ashley, could you stand your dog up? So we want what we're looking for, we're looking for these two legs to be square underneath the dog and the back end natural. If it's easier, then ask the ha handler if you can handle the dogs. Obviously, if the handler says no, then they need to do it. But Sometimes it's much easier for us as a measurer to actually position the dogs. So that's much better. So what some people will do is feed the dog. So do you want to feed your dog? So if you raise him, his head higher and lower, so we can demonstrate how that affects the dog. So with Bailey, if his head goes down, his shoulders go down. If they raise the head, raise his head right up. On some animals, um, if, the, if the head goes up, the shoulders go down. And on some of the dogs, if the head goes down, the shoulders go down. It just depends on the type of dog, which will obviously give a false impression for the measure. So we need Bailey to stand nice and level, four legs underneath him, head in the natural position. The natural standard position of the dog can be determined by watching how the dog stands when stopped after walking. So we're happy now that Bailey's standing nicely. Put the measure onto the withers and we find the highest part of the withers. The withers are on the ridge between the shoulder blades. So once the hoop's in position, as a measurer, you need to just check the legs to make sure the dog hasn't moved. If the base of the hoop isn't touching the ground, and with this dog, this hoop isn't always down, it's rocking slightly at the base, then we would reposition and remeasure the dog 
a minimum of three times. So after, after repositioning a dog, if at no time the base of the hoop touches the ground, then the dog would go into the higher height category. As you can see with Bailey, the hoop is swinging and this is the medium hoop we have on Bailey, which means that Bailey would go into the large height category. Once we're happy with the measure, we'll inform the handler and then we'll write it in the record book. If this was his first measure, I then inform the handler that you've now got between 12 and 24 months to get the second measure done. All small and medium dogs, as explained earlier, require a second measure. For further information about agility measuring, please go to the Kennel Club website. Or if you're interested in becoming a measurer, email agility at thekennelclub.org.uk. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you for watching.